dead on my last truck so I just bought some new trucks because I couldn't actually took the kingpin off because like that kind of like little balls were, were completely dead so new indie trucks also I'm going to talk about the elbow pads because it's probably the main subject and title of the video but now I have to go to the skate park because one I have an appointment at 1 p.m. with my friend Gary and it's like I don't know 120 already and also I want to get skateboarding in definitely so let's Go to the park, skate and talk afterward. See your money, money. sick of rookie, you love me. love me Bigger, fully, you dummy Come and take it all from me Yeah, so come and take it all from me yeah. uh, We are in Bristol right now It's exactly the same moment where uh, I've done that uh, review, 2K17 review I've just finished filming it actually I want to dive into that subject And not only why I had uh, an elbow pad but more like, I feel like skaters don't take care of themselves, and that's pretty crazy. While aging a bit, I'm only 21 and sound maybe weird or cocky, I don't know. But I, I, I can already tell you that my body doesn't react the same way as it used to do when I was 18. And I feel like when you're under 20 and skateboarding, you're like, oh my god, I, I, I had a really bad slam. My my leg is broken, my, my hand is still on the ground, but oh my god, I still have to try it. Oh, no matter what it costs. And while, while you're aging a bit, you're like... It's not that you don't have the balls anymore, but it's just that you you start to know that you have maybe... Moment where you have to take pause, or maybe... Okay, there was a bad slam, I'm not going to do it whatever it costs, even if I don't feel it. I'm going to do something else or even take a few days of break practice and go stronger next time you know going with like the ability to succeed I think you are using a bit more your brain and even a lot of times skateboarding is just like disconnect your brain and just go for it uh, sometimes it's also really useful so little story about my elbow I felt constantly on that elbow like constantly 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 and there is there were like a huge bump I tried to film but like you don't really see it which is stupid and every time like I fell it it hurt it so bad like so so bad I, I, honestly when it, it, when I fell it and it hurt it I, I literally felt like I was going to puke it never happened to me before but it's how it hurt me and I, I had to protect that, you know, I'm not going to... I don't want to take breaks, not when I'm in Luxembourg, because like it's working, 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 and I have only one day free, and I'm not going to stay at home doing nothing. Or even if it, I have a lot of editing to do, it's not going, going to take all day long. So uh, I don't want to do that. So about uh, elbow pads, which, fun fact, the elbow pad is too small, so I'm using the knee pad for my elbow and it works so well. It works so well. I fell on my elbow, didn't fell anything and now it has finally the time to heal. Um, also, I'm taking a break. You are not going to be affected by that break. Uh, I mean in terms of, vid of videos, but um, yeah, I fell so much during that session which was insane. I'm going to talk about it just in a moment. Which was really insane, but I felt so much, and my knee for three days like hurt a bit, like hurt a bit. Now it's okay because we are Sunday, and uh, the session was on Thursday. 
But I feel like, okay, I have the opportunity, like I'm, I'm in Brussels right now, I'm suddenly not going to vlog the whole process. Um, because it's really family time and I was like, okay, family time, it's a one opportunity to disconnect a bit of skateboarding, just taking break and come back stronger for the next session. But like I said, you're not going to be affected by that in the videos. Now, honestly, there are two shout out going on in this vlog. The first one is for that 50 Charlotte News All River for my, my, my friend Palin. Uh, he, this, that's, that's his kind of trick, like 50 Charlotte Tail Charlotte River. He's doing crazy shit in, on his shell. Crazy, crazy shit. So go check him out. And honestly, I didn't have any idea of what I was doing. I was like, okay, what, what will Palin try if, the, if he has no other idea? Because I had no other idea of tricks. And um, I didn't expect actually to try to shove it and land into news. I did it and I was like, that can be a trick. So, put the camera a few turns later, I landed that trick and I was really. It was fun. It was good inspiration. So, go check Palance Skate on YouTube. The link, of course, will be in the description. And second, shout out go to Chad Caruso, which have. Yeah, which has. Have, he have, he have a great uh, YouTube channel. A lot of transition trick tips going on up there. Just quick section. Trick tips are going to come on this channel. I'm really sorry, I promised uh, to a few of you trick tips, specific trick tips, but filming it in my indoor skateboard is just pretty much impossible because if I'm not completely alone, someone uh, if someone else is skating, it's just ruined. You it's just completely ruined the audio. Just I can't do anything about it. I filmed one completely and I had to deal with it because it sucks. Well, now uh, Chad Caruso. The backsmith, it's completely due to him, I know it is, it is a baby backsmith, like it is a backsmithy, you know. Uh, I didn't have like, I, I still don't have the proper motion of really having long backsmith grind, but on, on the principle, totally due to him, he has great uh, transition trick tip, but I feel like I already say that. Oh, link off his to, to, to chat a bit. Come on, learn to talk. Uh, link of his YouTube channel in the description. And on this, I'm going to end up this video. Take care, guys, and see you very soon.